Do you know what a failure resume is? Now, we're great at remembering and tracking all of our accomplishments, but there are those times where you, you didn't do quite so well, and there are lessons learned attached to those moments. And it's good to reflect back on those times where you missed the mark. There is one instance in particular that I want to share with you that has stayed with me, and it's part of my failure resume. Early in my career, I was in video production, and I had an opportunity to be the floor manager or floor director of a live video shoot. This is my first opportunity in being a floor director, and you count down the talent, meaning that you count from five, four, three, so you don't say two and one. You just use your fingers to cue the talent to go because you don't want to be speaking as they're about ready to speak. And I quickly forgot that rule. I counted them down properly and the talent is rolling and they're doing their thing and they're probably 30 seconds into whatever they were doing. And I can hear the director in the control booth. I have headphones on. They're in a soundproof booth so they can say whatever they want in there and they're talking to the camera people about the angles and all that i forget that <laughs> i'm the floor director and i hear the director say something to somebody i thought it was directed to me and i said out loud what did you say <laughs> that stopped the entire shoot the talent stopped what they were doing they looked at me all the camera people looked at me the entire crew looked at me and all i hear in the headset is the director screaming at me telling me that I'm a moron. I wanted to evaporate myself as quickly as possible. I didn't know what to do. It was such an like sensory overload of embarrassment and humiliation. Let me tell you, that was a lesson for me. Here's how I'm applying that lesson today. I still do video work and I still interview people. When I interview people, I make sure that when I ask a question, I STFU and I just stay steady and let them answer the question. I don't say uh-huh or yeah, I just shut up. When they're done answering the question, I still shut up and I make sure that I get the body language signal that they're done answering the question, which means a head nod or they look to me for the next question and then I give it another half a beat just to be doubly sure that I'm not cross-talking over their answer. I carry that lesson with me today. So think about those things in your failure resume that have a lasting impact on how you do things today. It could be helpful.